Welcome to an exclusive backstage on location tour of filming which is going on today. Get out of sight! Ready for action! What we're doing in this project is recreating some of the scenes from his iconic films, The Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse and also The Magician. And we're doing that on location around Kinnity and at Kinnity Castle. We're also going to, along the way, see the, uh, the famous Rex as he was when he was a young man. Yeah, no, I just want to get a picture of, of you in the middle of an action so that we, we already see that there's a story coming up here, yeah. First position. And action. You're not a very good actor. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what I've done is taken the idea of recreating stills from the films. In each of the scenes, the, the actors are in stillness, and then they move into another still picture, and so on. We really were just trying to capture moments. And we're imagining how he might have been inspired by uh, the location. So uh, there's a pyramid in Kennedy. OK, yeah, sorry, I'll just give you a rhythm just where we have. So <coughs> think of like one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. So it's really deliberate. Okay. Yeah. So it's about bringing the exotic uh, back home, but also in a way letting that exotic reveal new meanings and spark off uh, oh, new okay. ideas relating to right, the, so this actual place like itself that. and the people in it. And David, you're a little bit further back, are Okay. So first position. That's your first position. Okay. First position and action. <laughs> He was also inspired by uh, local characters who had been to the States at the time. He used to read the New York Times. This was in 1911, before he left here. People may have heard the name, they don't much know much about the film. So I think now people are much more familiar with the films and also have gained an appreciation of the style that's involved in silent films. wanted to do something big and we started with a very small core group of about six people uh, who were interested in the project. So hold it there, then you have in the middle there. Yeah. Freeze, freeze, freeze. 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 <laughs> It's pulled a lot of people together, you know? Yeah. Like, um, we've got people from young kids to older adults and stuff, so it's a big range sure. as well. It's good. Each other on the lips. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are children going to see this. <laughs> <laughs> Joy! And hold it. And you can breathe. With the small amount of training, we were able to use um, actors uh, who had, had no experience whatsoever. We do fast. Um, you do it slow. No, no, slowly. So about this pace, yeah, you had it right. I've actually found the process of making the play quite brilliant because I haven't had to read, I haven't had to learn any words. I've just had to learn poses. So from that point of view, it's been quite good. Okay, and yeah, brilliant wide eyes. That's great. You've got it. Uh, and um, <laughs> keep them up as wide as you can. And then it was a matter of like trying to draw the people in to the idea to come around the idea. And uh, it took time, but um, 
when I put the script together and brought people around the locations, it became clear what, what was needed and we worked together to bring a whole team around this. We have a, a small uh, community here, but quite an important network of people. So we've got the GAA involved, Kennedy Tidy Tans have been involved, the choir. So we had a whole team, uh, including hair and makeup and um, props and so on. We, uh, some people only coming in in the last week, so it was, it was like a snowball effect. The, the team built up and really in the last, in the last 10 days, uh, a huge amount of pieces fell into place. Where are your suitcases? Props! Suitcases! You're very welcome here to Kennedy Community Centre and to um, your very special audience to see this uh, Silent Journeys production, um, which is part of the Secrets of Offaly Public Art Project uh, by Offaly County Council. When it started four or five months ago, I don't think anyone expected it to grow to be uh, what it is today. Yeah. The potatoes are over there, you can grab the small potatoes. Yeah. And, um, it's been quite a panic because today is the first day that we've actually done a full uh, shoot through of all the scenes in order, and also the first day that we've actually all got into hair, makeup, costume. This is where I have two costume assistants. <laughs> <laughs> and I give out to Hurry up, girls! <laughs> yeah. It's really flowered, the, the whole project is really flowered, and people have, have um, seen the potential in it. You can be the drawer. You got a new job? <laughs> well, myself and a couple of other local artists made the title cards for the project, which are what we show up for instead of dialogue. And I definitely and remember hard. staying up a good few nights <laughs> doing them. First position, you all look fabulous. All right, so the main thing is, enjoy yourselves this afternoon. You've done great work. This does include a bit of walking. We'll enjoy the scenery as we go along. A little sprinkling from above, perhaps as well. Uh, you're on a working set, so uh, watch out for actors arriving and leaving and so on. So, welcome to Hollywood. If you'd like to follow me. You will see the amount of people who are involved in this. You will see the amount of work gone into this and pulling out all the stops to make this happen. Thanks is due to, to you know, everybody who got involved um, and made it all possible. It's been a real pleasure working with the people of Kinnity. We recreated epic scenes from Rex Ingram's Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse and The Magician. And I think uh, they'll never forget this experience when Hollywood came to town for one day only.
Action. I've just been bowled over by this presentation this afternoon. The whole scale of imagination, the thinking outside the box was just magnificent. It just blew me away, I have to say. The local community involvement was key to the whole success of it. It was a fabulous performance and all credit due to the people of Kinnity who took part in it. It was absolutely superb. We have a phrase in West Offaly, when something extraordinary or you know really wonderful happens, we say, well that beats Banagher. And this is an occasion where you would use that phrase. It really did beat Banagher. <laughs>